Hey, welcome to the Great Pyrenees. A lot of our guests usually have questions on how to use this and that in the home, so we thought, why not make a video of how-tos, uh, of frequently asked questions. So that's what this is. The first question that we get is, how do we get into the home? Well, that's what I'm gonna show you right now. We've got a smart lock on the door. When you get here, you are going to get sent via email and text an, an access code the day that you check in that morning. So make sure you check your text or your email. When you get here, you're gonna simply enter that four digit code that you were sent and the door will unlock and then you can go on in. If you need to leave and you wanna lock the door, you simply press the Schlage button and it'll lock for you. When you walk in, you're gonna find um, the guest binder at the top and then there's gonna be an HOA envelope that um, would have been picked up and placed in the HOA packet um, here on the wall-mounted folder for you. All right, sometimes you, you know, have messes that occur during your stay, so we wanted to make sure that you're equipped with tools to clean up those small messes that you have. And it's all located in this closet right here by the dining room. You've got a broom here, there's a mop, there's a vacuum, and, and additionally, there's some cleaning supplies underneath the kitchen sink for your use as well. Okay, I wanna make sure that you guys know how to turn on the heat and the AC in the summertime, so we're gonna go over the thermostat. It's a little bit different in this house. We've got, it's not central air on the bottom level and the heat and cooling are a little bit different. So I definitely want you to know how to adjust that. In the wintertime when you come in, if the house is gonna be set at 70 degrees, so it's not gonna be freezing cold for you when you come, but if you want it warmer than that, you're gonna look for all of the thermostats that are labeled heat only. They look exactly like this, the round knob, and you're just gonna simply adjust it to the temperature that you prefer. This, there's actually six of these in all. One actually looks a little bit different, it's not round, and I'm gonna show you what that one looks like. All right, so like I mentioned before, all of them, the ones that say heat only, for the heat are round and they all control the baseboard heaters. That's how this house is warmed up and heated in the winter time. This one is not round, obviously. So I wanted to show you in bedroom one that we have just a different thermostat, but this is just for heat. It does not control the AC at all. And it's really easy. You just increase or decrease the temperature to your preferred temperature. So remember that um, you wanna look for all of the thermostat that say heat only in the winter time and adjust those and um, all of the locations of them are located inside our guest binder. So please check that out if you have any questions. So we went over how to heat the house. Now let's go over how to cool the house in the summertime. Thankfully, the Poconos has very mild summers, so it doesn't get extremely hot, but sometimes it does get up there and so you'll want to know how to turn on the AC. Our house has several different AC units, so I definitely wanna go over those with you. When you walk in, you're gonna see this unit here it is just um, a ductless unit that is gonna provide um, cool air for this entire area on this side of the house, this section. In order to turn that on, you'll need to use the remote control and the remote control is located in this binder that is mounted to the wall. This is what it looks like and it's very simple to use. There's an on and off switch and then you can, at that point, just increase or decrease the temperature to your preferred temperature. So, let's see. And I just wanted to remind you, although the unit here, you'll see that there's a heating mode, this actually is just for air conditioning, so it's not used for heat at all. And the remote control is usually not placed here in the wintertime anyway, so it's simply for your use in the summertime. The second air conditioning unit is found in the game room, and um, again, it's just for air conditioning, but it will be on in the summertime and our default temperature is 75. If you'd like to adjust it, you actually have to adjust it on the machine itself, which is kind of high. So we provide you with a step stool that's found inside the closet and then you can adjust the temperature to whatever setting you would like. The last AC unit is found upstairs and this cools the entire upstairs. So while the downstairs is cooled by two ductless units and we also actually have an additional um, window unit or portable unit in our bedroom one for that area since it's hard to get the cool air in there and it gets a little hot. We provided you with that but upstairs all of the AC is central air and it's controlled with this one thermostat. The thermostat is found in the hallway by bedroom six and bathroom four 
and you'll see the sign. It says for AC only, there is no heat. You will turn it on by selecting the mode button. This should already be on cool for you in the summertime, but you'll notice there's an off and a cool button. You'll want to select cool and then you'll hit done. It'll show you the indoor temperature and then you can set the temperature that you like by hitting the up and down arrow button. And that's it. That's how you cool your house. We actually have two fireplaces in our house. One is located here in the living room. This one's really important because in the winter time, it's actually your source of heat for this room. So it's really easy to work. The fireplace is turned on by this thermostat on the wall as you walk into the living room area. It's labeled fireplace. And to turn on the fireplace, you simply move the lever on the bottom towards um, the higher temperature, so towards 90, until you exceed the room temperature, and you'll notice that the fireplace lights. And then to turn it off, you simply move it towards the lower temperature, 50, and it will turn off. And don't forget to not tamper or adjust any of the controls on the unit itself. Please leave those settings as is. It's really important, and do not turn off the pilot light on the fireplace. Thanks. All right, so the second fireplace is located in our game room. And just so you know, when you walk into the game room, the switch for the fireplace is immediately to your left on the wall near the peg board. And this one works the same way, except instead of a lever, you just have a knob and you're gonna turn it again towards the higher temperature in order to turn it on, and then towards the lower temperature to turn it off. And again, please do not turn off the pilot light or adjust any of the settings on the fireplace. Thank you. This home is equipped with an uh, air purifier with clean air technology to help maintain a clean indoor air environment for you all. So this is what it looks like. We recommend that you just leave it at the setting that it is at. Please do not adjust any of the, the knobs or do not adjust any of the settings and um, enjoy the clean air that it provides. For your movie viewing pleasure, we have Disney Plus on our living room TV that's ready to go for you to use. In order to get um, connected to that, you would just turn on the television, hit the home button on the remote control, and you'll be at this screen. And then at that, then you can go ahead and toggle down and select Disney Plus and select vacation profile for the home and then choose whatever movie show you want to watch and enjoy grab some popcorn and just have a great movie night hey so what vacation would be complete without photos well we have this awesome instagram mural for you to use and that way you can take it and show everyone that you were here in the poconos on great adventures. So remember to take your photos and don't forget to tag us on your social media posts. All right, it's hot tub time. Time to get in the hot tub and relax after a long day of hiking or whatever um, adventures you've been on at the Poconos. In order to get um, the hot tub going, when you arrive, you're gonna have to unlock the hot tub. There is a lock on it and here is the key. It's located on this hook right by the door that leads to the hot tub. So let's go and unlock it. Okay, now it's time to jump in the hot tub. So how are we gonna work the controls? Really simple. The control panel is right here. The default temperature that we set it at is 90 degrees. If you would like it any hotter than 90 degrees, I recommend that you come here and increase the temperature to your preferred temperature right away so that the hot tub has time to get up to that temperature. It does take it a little bit of time, so you wanna do that before you actually wanna get in the hot tub so that it's ready to go when you're ready to get in. So the controls are really simple. There is a jet button, a light button, and then a plus and minus button. And those are the only ones that you need to control this, this hot tub. The jets are obviously for you to turn on the jets. You're gonna hit it once, it'll be on low. Hit it again, some more jets are gonna come on. Hit it a third time, even more jets will come on. Hit it a fourth time, and you've got all the jets on, and then hit it a fifth time, and it turns all the jets off. 
And then to turn on the light, just hit the light switch. And then we have the plus and minus signs to increase the temperature or decrease the temperature. And that's it for the hot tub. The only other thing I want to mention is you see this blue floaty thing here. And this is actually a bromine float, which helps to keep the hot tub clean during your stay. So please do not remove the bromine um, float. Leave it in there. If you do remove it, please put it back when you're done and when you're done using the hot tub. And then please remember to keep the cover on the hot tub when you're not using it, just to keep the, the heat in. And when you're removing the lid from the hot tub, we recommend that you use two people. It just helps. It's just a lot easier to remove it with two people than one person. All right, well, that's it. Enjoy the hot tub. All right, when it comes time to check out of this place, please make sure that you check the guest binder for all of our checkout procedures there. So you make sure to follow those procedures. And then I just wanted to point out a couple things. Make sure that you check the entire house. It is a big house. So make sure that you and your guests check the entire house for all of your personal belongings. That way you don't leave without anything that's important. And then also make sure that um, you do the trash correctly. So all the trash needs to be bagged and it needs to be taken to the trash center. Um, just like it says in our guest binder. So if you have questions about that, you can always check out our guest binder for more instructions on that. And um, lastly, we just hope that you enjoy your stay here. If you have any questions whatsoever on your stay, please don't hesitate to call or email our host and, um, or your host, and uh, she will be able to help you with anything that you have. Enjoy your stay and welcome again to the Great Pyrenees.